but I'm just going to quickly take you through a few elements of Squarespace just to give you some of the basics. Yeah. So obviously this workshop is more general. It's about generally setting up a website yourself and getting it started. So this is just a little um, quick tour through Squarespace. So what you might find initially whenever you're setting up Squarespace is they ask you for what type of website you're setting up. So it could be something Sorry. like an online store or a portfolio and maybe in certain areas as well, like food or restaurants, for example, as well, because then they might suggest something that involves menus and specific things that are useful to you as well. And what they'll try and do is match some templates that you might find interesting. And usually they match them quite well, but you might find that actually, you know, you might want something that's a bit more portfolio based, even though you're a food business. So you can actually go across all of these and explore them a bit further as well. So whenever you first go into Squarespace, what you'll find is a huge menu of different things. And I'm not going to go into all of this just because then it'll be another whole talk on Squarespace. <laughs> but just to give you some of the um, key sort of features within Squarespace, what it lets you do is adjust things like styles and it does it very visually. So it has things like the site background color, the width, spacing, font sizes, etc. And it lets you go into that in styles. It also has a pages navigation as well, and it lets you set up different kinds of pages. So it could be just a regular page. It could be something like a gallery page, for example. Um, so it lets you set up different things in that section as well. And Squarespace is actually connected to e-commerce, so it can be quite useful if you're looking to retail your products as well. So you'll see as well, there's a main navigation, a secondary navigation and not linked. And all that means is that the main navigation is your main headers that go across the top. Secondary navigation is the sort of drop down from that. So it's the sort of next in line. So you've got your main headers, the next in line. And then not linked doesn't show up in your main menu on the page. But it could be that you want some click through to a different page. So it could be that you land on the design page, for example, and you're reading all about it. And then you want to take people to a particular product. And then having an unlinked page lets you actually connect it to a page on your site, but it doesn't appear immediately whenever you go onto that home page as well. And it's very easy to edit things on Squarespace. So it has these little sections with pluses where you can add in things like images and galleries. You can add in things like social media icons, as well as the most important thing, which is the actual content and visuals as well. So it's very, very easy to navigate and add things. So these are just some examples of things that you can add in. You can add things like call to action, like buttons, which take you to other places or to documents. You can add audio. You can embed different videos into it as well. So it's quite a straightforward, easy to visualize type of site. And you'll find the same with Wix as well. It's quite similar in how it functions as well. 